Welcome to Devotional Daily. Today is April 5. Our title is The Revelation of the Cross. And by Him to reconcile all things to Himself, by Him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of His cross. Colossians 1 20. What truly counts for our salvation is not anything we can do, but what Christ did objectively, perfectly, completely, and finally on the cross. What matters is the act of placing our faith in Christ, who bows his head before the Father and accepts the work on our behalf, and thus opens the way for new life. Christianity depends on nothing but the grace of God, freely offered to all. For our salvation, we contribute with only one thing. We bring our sin, from which we must be saved. Everything else is worthless. Our salvation was secured on a rugged cross. John Stott once observed that every religion or ideology is marked by a visual symbol that illustrates the central element of its story. For Buddhism, it is the lotus flower. In Judaism, the Star of David, the hexagram formed by two juxtaposed triangles. In Islam, the crescent moon. For Marxism, the hammer and sickle. In Nazism, the swastika, symbol of the Aryan race. Christianity could be illustrated in many ways, by a fish, an ark, a lion, a shepherd, a manger, a carpenter's bench, a boat, an apron, a stone rolled away from the tomb, or a dove, but instead, a simple cross. The early Christians, despite pagan scorn, chose the cross so the world would discover who they are. The cross is the central symbol of the Christian faith. It recalls the horror, the shame, and the pain. Stubbornly, despite the ridicule of the cross, Christians clung to it, the ultimate symbol of the substitution made on our behalf. Jesus preached from many pulpits. He preached on the mountainside, in boats, in the temple, in synagogues, on the beaches of Judea, and in the valleys. But his greatest sermon was preached from the cross. There, the nails immobilized the preacher, but his voice was never more audible, clearer, and more beautiful, so that everyone who believes in him shall not perish.